Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'll be giving you 7 tips that you can apply and become a better player. And without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. Um, and starting right away, the first tip that we have to emphasize is practice. This applies to anything. It's not just about playing games. Anything you want to do, if you want to become an artist, you know, you want to sing, you want to act, you want to get good grades. The number one way that you can become good at something is by doing it a lot. So there is no possible way that you're going to become a very good bullet echo player if you only play the game once a day for 10 minutes. The more you play the game, the better you become because you'll be exposed to different situations. So um, the first tip that I have for you is play as much as possible because this, this, this will expose you to very many different situations that you can learn from even if you don't apply any other tip in this video. Imagine if I said ignore the rest of the tips in this video. The one tip that you would have to listen to would be to play as much as possible because that would make you automatically better. So that's it for tip number one. Moving on to uh, tip number two, you have to be a good student and learn from your mistakes. One of the best ways that you can improve as a player is to learn from your mistakes every time you lose. Every time you get killed by an enemy, think about the situation. Understand what you did to lead to that moment of you getting killed. Was it just a third party, you know? Was it just an enemy that caught you off guard as you were fighting some other enemy? Um, did you leave your team behind and try to do it on your own and then you are killed? Once you learn from your mistakes and you don't repeat the same mistakes in each and every game, then you start to become a better player. So just be observant, you know, keep track of whatever you do in the game and its consequences. As time goes on, you realize how important it is to learn from your mistakes and you become a better player. That's it for tip number two. Tip number three is actually very, very important. Once you start doing this, you will automatically start winning more games. And tip number three is to look around. And I mean look around a lot. Keep turning in every direction looking around as you move. One of the most common reasons that players get surprised is they don't look around. You have to understand that this game is different from most other games. The game is designed in such a way that everyone is in total darkness. And the only thing that you can see is what is in front of you. It's like, just imagine a, a dark room, pitch black, you know, everything is dark, and then you have a flashlight that is stuck to your chest. Now, you cannot see anything on your side or behind you. You can only see what is in front of you. So if you don't keep turning, looking around, an enemy doesn't even have to come from behind you. They can come from your side, and you won't even notice them unless they make too much noise. So always look around, Remain vigilant, remain alert, you will just find yourself winning more games. Because every time you lose focus for one second, that's an opportunity for the enemy to attack. That's it for tip number three. Um, tip number four can actually be a game changer. Um, you need to join a serious clan or syndicate. First of all, um, if you're playing this game, there's one thing that you must have already done. And this is, I think this is something that can benefit everyone who plays the game. You need to download Discord if you haven't already. Now Discord is basically, a, it's just a messaging app. It allows the creation of different communities that revolve around a certain topic. But Discord in particular is one of the most preferred communication tools for gamers. So any game that you play, it's very important to have Discord. So um, download Discord and then join the official Bullet Echo Discord server. You can find the link to that server on their YouTube channel, I think. I will still include it in the description for those who cannot find their YouTube channel. And once you join the official Bullet Echo server, and then you will have access to the different channels in that server. And in particular, one of the channels that is important is the Syndicate's channel. 
So in this Discord channel, you will find different announcements from syndicate leaders looking for members. Now obviously each syndicate is going to have different requirements. It doesn't matter what trophies you have or which region you play in, there's always a syndicate for you. Some syndicates even accept everyone. How does this make you a better player? It actually does make you a better player because different clans or syndicates give their players different strategies and tips that they can use while playing the game. And obviously you have to understand that once you join a syndicate, you have access to 20 other people that you can play with at any time. And already you're going to find that these are already good players. So it's going to be very easy for you to learn from them and maybe also teach them a few tricks that they didn't know. And that's one of the ways in which you can become a better player. I'm moving on to the next tip, learn about your gears. It's very important to learn about the gears for each and every hero because gears actually have a very huge effect on the outcome of battles. They can affect how fast your hero moves, they can affect the damage your hero does, they can affect your hero's armor penetration, piercing power, all these different statistics, movement speed. So they definitely affect how battles end and they, they affect the outcome of battles. You will also need to do some research about the different gear combinations. The previous video was all about gears and how they work and you know how to upgrade them, how to unlock them. You can find it right here in the top right corner if you want to watch that. So everything about gears and how they work and how to upgrade them is summarized in that video right there. I'll link it in the top right corner, I think. Yeah, so that's it for the gears. Once you learn how they work and equip the best gear combinations, then you will definitely win more matches. Moving on to tip number six, understand all hero abilities. This sounds like something obvious, but it isn't. You need to understand not only the main abilities of your heroes, but also their passive abilities. For example, we know that Raven's main ability is to scan, but anyone who has played the game for some time will also tell you that Raven has a passive ability that increases the aimed weapon range of any allies that are close to him. So knowing this, you would know that if you played a hero like Slayer, or Levi next to Raven, that extra aimed weapon range would be a very good advantage for these heroes. Another example would be Sparkle. You know, Sparkle increases the damage done by any allies close to her by 25%. So you'd know that if you use Sparkle, any allies near you would do 25% more damage. These are just two of the examples of the different passive abilities of these heroes. So um, take some time and read about the passive abilities of each of the heroes and basically just understand all the abilities of the heroes and this will allow you to get the best out of these heroes. Tip number 7 is actually going to make the difference between a very good player and a player who is fearful and always scared. Stop being afraid of dying. One of the things that will cause you a lot of trouble in this game is if you're always afraid of dying. Uh, being afraid of dying is going to lead you to always try and avoid fights. You know, you're going to always hide, you know, and be away from the battlefield. And, you know, this is not, th this is a tactic that works for lower levels of the game. Like if you're a new player, it's very easy for you to just hide, you know, using Bastion and then just pop his shield and melt everyone. But at higher levels of the game, it won't work. Because everyone is using scan heroes, you know, ravens, ghosts, mirages, you know, and the heroes are basically very strong. So if, if you're hiding, it takes only one raven scanning and discovering you, and then you're going to be attacked by a full team of heroes. You know, be adventurous. You know, if you die, just learn from it and go straight into another match. I think that's it for my tips on how to become a better player. If you have any more tips regarding that, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
Lost some thoughts for you and I miss the old you We died with the purpose, all the energy around me Felt nervous, scared I would pop out fast to the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn as God I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card I wrote a flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back to the Mac and I see where I'm at I'm a fight like I'm mad, I'm a beast of the net They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while